Hey everyone, Irix Guy here, back again with uh, with another Final Cut Pro X, also referred to as Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Uh, now what I'm going to talk about today is how to insert a title into your videos. Now a lot of times if people have a, uh, now maybe you're not doing it for personal purposes and you have a business and you want to integrate that, uh, you want to incorporate that standard look and feel across all of your videos. If you if you want to do that, what you may want to consider doing, and I'm dragging it over here now, like for example, my YouTube channel is Irix Guys Adventure Channel. Now this isn't a really fancy logo. I, f I whipped it up in a matter of minutes, but with a PNG, dot PNG format, you can actually have the ability to have logos that are whatever shape. It wouldn't have to be circle, wouldn't have to be square. Because this gray area that you see here in a PNG is, uh, you can see right through it. So, for example, I'm going to drag that particular logo you just saw onto the video here of me water skiing. So, I just drag it on the top and <clears throat> put it over the video clip because I want it to be, uh, to be able to be seen on top of the video. And see now, and it's still rendering, we'll wait for it to render. But you can see that on the video clip, but it's not, uh, you don't see the background, so it's kind of cool. And th this is when you're watching uh, television channels and movies and whatnot, and they have those fancy logos that just seem like they're just sitting there in space. It's because more than likely they're using a PNG. So what we can do, we can stretch this out a little bit. I'm going to highlight this video clip. I, obviously, I don't want it right in the middle there. So what you can do is highlight your title. In this case, it's just that PNG file. And then you can go to uh, you can go to video and transform. Now beside transform, you've got that little box. So click that box. Now this will enable you to resize, move, rotate, whatever you may want to do. So just for fun, we're gonna we're gonna reduce the size of this. And when you're doing, as a good rule of thumb, when you're creating logos, uh, PNG logos, it's always good to create them larger than you would need because with the PNG, you can always reduce the size and maintain the, the photo quality. But if you've got something that was small to begin with and you try to increase the size, it's going to look distorted. So anyway, so I'm downsizing this. And then you can click this middle part. Looks like a little circle and you can drag it to wherever you want within your video presentation. So I'm going to put it I'm just going to put it in the top left corner. And then you hit done. Now as always with uh with Final Cut Pro 10, you'll see that it's rendering. It's 40 50 60 something percent done now. And so we'll wait for that to finish. Now we're going to rewind the video, and there it is, Our Skies Adventure Channel. And something a lot of people may want to do when they're using titles is to add a sound effect when it comes in and out. You know, if you're watching news or something like that, they have those, uh, they call them stingers. So you can actually go into your audio section, and I... Uh, you can use your iLife sound effects. You can use your Final Cut Pro. You can you can sort through. There's an array of different uh, sounds. We're just gonna we're gonna go into sci-fi and sort by time. Because with something like this, when you got a tile coming in and out, you want a quick boom or pop. So like that one sounds cool. So you just drag the sound to the start of the clip, the title. And then when the title goes out, I'm going to have another sound effect. So let's rewind and see how that plays out. There goes the title. And title goes away with the sound effect. So that's kind of a, kind of a cool technique. Now let's say that you didn't have a logo, a PNG logo, or any other uh, image file that you wanted to use for your title. What you can do 
and I'm just going to back out all of these uh, revisions that I made. I'm just doing an edit, undo, and undoing all the changes I made to this video. Okay, so we got that. Now what we could do if we weren't using a uh, a PNG or other image file for the for the title, you can simply hit T right here where it says show show or hide titles browser. And Final Cut Pro 10 comes with an abundance of title effects. Now one of the most common ones, and you can prowl through all of these. I mean there's different shapes, different colors, however you want to make it look. But let's say this is a like a news broadcast. So you can go down to uh, to this one right here. This looks like the news. So you can drag it over to wherever you want to start it. And likewise you can stretch it out. You know, you want this title to be visible for a few seconds. Maybe you want it to be visible throughout the whole clip. Who knows? So you put it there and then you select select uh, the title and you can go up and double click in this area and you can rename it. So like, we could call this like extreme water ski competition and then as we discussed earlier we can do a uh, couple of sound effects <clears throat> I mean there's so many sound effects and you, you're not limited to sound effects that are included within uh, Final Cut Pro. I mean, you could make your own sound effects or whatever for that matter. Uh, that's a ridiculous sound effect for this, but put that at the beginning. And you could have another one at the end. And as you can see there, that orange bar is present, so it's still rendering. And you can uh, you can wait on this to render, which is what I usually prefer to do. Or you can actually play, and it'll of course be degraded quality because it's not 100% rendered. But just as an example, we're on 26% now. If I hit play, you're not going to have all the picture clarity there. But you got the sound effect. See, it says extreme water competition. Extreme water ski competition, rather. And then it goes away. So that's that's your basic down and dirty how to create a, uh, a title effect within a Final Cut Pro 10 project. And always remember, the title needs to be on top because if you put the title down below, you wouldn't be able to see it. I don't, I don't think you. Let's test that theory. I think it's got to go above. So like if I put it below the clip, yeah, you don't see it. Because you got to look at this like a piece of cake. Like this is the, uh, this is a layer and this is a layer. So this layer underneath, you're not going to see this one down below. But if you drag the uh, title back to the top, you will see it on top of your, uh, on top of your video clip. Feel free to share this video with others. Uh, feel free to share all of my videos with others. I've got a Final Cut Pro playlist, and it's in this video's description. And if there's something I haven't posted yet, uh, let me know, and if I know how to do it, I'll put together a uh, try to put together a video. Y'all have a good one.